all sorts of things, how to condition the flowers, which she's enjoying, making bows, she's a real wizard though, and um, watering the plants and things like that. So she's been very useful and I'm hoping she's enjoying it. I've been um, sorting out flowers, like cutting them and taking off leaves and uh, putting them in bins of water and I've um, been using this to water plants and I've been taught how to like make those like these and uh, recently I've started also um, writing up cards and um, helping with um, uh, writing down like names and addresses for orders I enjoy um, seeing uh, the lovely people and I enjoy do doing their jobs. I'd say I'd really like to be a florist. Learning different new skills, like learning all the different size orders, being doing communication to customers. I learned to check if them is on sale or not. But I have a few customers, like be polite and nice and say hi to them and ask them if they want to carry a bag or not. To get a paid job, like with animals, children, or working in a care home, or in a retail job, I don't mind. She's gained skills that she wouldn't have done, that she can add to her CV, and she can always come back and see us if we've got a vacancy. It's been enjoyable to have her here, and she's been really helpful. I was 18 before, about a year before I went on my internship. It was all about sort of quality assurance and speaking to the people we support and some of our managers um, about the quality of support that we provide and where we need to improve. I was quite fortunate in that the United Fruits Upon offered me employment and that was quite a, a smooth transition and so my job is I do a lot of um, work around painting symptoms uh, so then yeah, then the third thing is about um, for the people we support about their experiences during lockdown and, and really giving them a job to the poor boys to be hurt and you to myself I, I don't know what I would be looking to share or not share so I think being able to put yourself in those shoes I really don't Superstar is a, 
uh, DJ. She's uh, currently um, the resident DJ of Soho Bar, Park Lane, Foundry, Terrace Exeter, Fever and Boutique. She's also DJ in Lemon Grove as well. She runs all the clubs around the Torbay um, vicinity area. We work with her first time back in September, meeting her absolutely went brilliantly. It's still going really brilliant today, it's going still going strong. I learned so much from her in the last few months. It's um, incredible, absolutely incredible. So the paid work I managed to get onto was um, uh, DJ in uh, Park Lane, which is a big club in Torbay, big nightclub. Um, doing paint festival as well. We're just organised through Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, and obviously I'm looking really looking forward to doing more clubs and festivals in the, in the near future. Starting from in, in April, a thousand plays on my first track, going up to 15.1, which was Crag M. Sunrise it released in June. Managed to gain over nearly 15,000 nearly 15, plays. But when it came down to releasing my next track, which was, as everyone knows, obviously knows about Monster as well. That that one went off like crazy for in the least in a month I nearly, nearly reached 20 thirty thousand plays nearly in a month. And obviously with the plays as well, instead of just reaching from the UK, it reached global. Countries from the United States, Canada, Mexico, Russia, Italy, Spain, uh, the Netherlands, nearly everyone around the world has been listening to my music for Obviously, a short amount of time, but it did manage to spread quite quickly. And hopefully, to, in the future, to do to become really successful about what I do as a DJ, music producer in the electronic dance music industry.